What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm going to explain how you can get these exact captions like Devin Jotho. And I personally just tried to make these exactly how he has his captions. And for any of you that don't know what his video looks like, I'm just going to show you as an example. If you had zero followers and you hired me to get you to 10,000 followers. And so that's just a basic rundown of his captions with the glow effect and the colors. So let's get right into it. So I actually just edited a TikTok video with using his style. So here's the intro just to see what it looks like. Do you hate seeing this TikTok watermark when you're reposting? posting your TikTok videos on other social media platforms. So that's the basic rundown of how I edited this video with those certain captions, with the floating effect, tilt right, tilt left. So now I'm gonna explain how to do this. So I'm assuming you already know how to make your captions and to put them into Premiere Pro. And for some reason it's not popping up right here, but it'll just say create new captions. You do that and then make it double line space with 16 as the line character. And I don't know if this is the exact, exact font that Devin Jotho uses, but this looks pretty dang similar, but I'm gonna select my text and so so I use Montserrat and I use the extra bold and then make sure you select these two options right here because when they're unselected, it looks like that. Then once they're selected, it looks really similar. And I'm gonna scroll down. This is the stroke and shadow settings that I have. So once you have that default setting made, you just wanna go back up and create your own style and make it called, I don't know, Devin Jotho style. So now this effect will be applied to your entire timeline. So now you're going to want to color your captions word by word. And I right here have a color palette and this makes coloring your captions 10 times easier. So obviously, as you can see right here, TikTok, I have it highlighted yellow, TikTok water. And then when I say watermark, I have it highlighted yellow again, and pretty much just do that for the entire video for when you're saying the word, have it highlighted. And you could do yellow, green, red. He personally has done purple and red, but if you want your own style to it, put your own color for what you want to use. And as you can see right here, there is a glow effect on the captions. And to get that, I already have a preset for this, but I'll select my caption, go to effect controls, and I'll show you how exactly to get it. And as you can see right here, copy and paste these settings, put them on here. And then once you have that, just right click, save this as a preset, then apply this to all your different captions. So the next step is to get that floating effect to your caption. So here's an example. When you're reposting your... So when I say when you're reposting, I have that floating. And to get that exact effect, I have this super smooth shake effect that I got from Finzar's pack. So once you have certain captions that are nested together, you can just hold shift, select all of them and so forth and so on. And then just drag and drop that effect onto all your nested sequences. And then you'll get that float effect in your captions. So the next step is now just to get the tilted effect. So when your captions are tilted, so for this example, it's tilt right. So if you just want to copy these settings, the rotation's at four. Then once you have that, save it as a preset. So then you never have to make it again. And then you'll just do the same thing for tilt left, copy these settings, make it a preset, and then just apply it to your captions. Now, do these captions look really similar to his video? I personally would say so. But if any of you have any other suggestions to make them look 100% exact, then just let me know down in the comments. I didn't want to gatekeep how to make these captions because I've seen other videos where people charge money to learn this. So hopefully you found value in this video. And if any of you have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram or let me know down below.